Welcome back to McKenzie Woodworking and a restoration of a camper trailer. What we will be starting off with is we'll be fiberglassing a roof on this camper trailer and all the materials have been supplied by Independent Marine Supply Store and they've supported us to bring this project to you. So come on up and visit them. They're in Mid Island Marine Center at 2451 Alberni Highway in beautiful central Vancouver Island. And they've just completed a massive renovation to the store and it is lovely, all sparkling and shiny new. They've been in business for 30 years. So uh, they've got the know-how and the ability to get you back on track. They've got sounders and radios and fish finders. They've got everything that you'd need to repair your boat and fiberglass mat and epoxy and polyester resins and all the hardeners and waxes that you need to complete a project. Uh, they've got all the fittings in the store. Um, it's also a great place to go if you have an RV and you want, I mean, you're doing some work to your RV. They've got all the news and lights that are available and the LED lights and they got 12 volt panel systems and they've got wiring and fittings and a great assortment of stainless steel. So come on up and see them and um, see their new store and their offerings. Welcome back everybody. So I'm just giving you a bit of a uh, recap here of the last video. So we showed you putting down all the plywood over the roof and saturating it all with uh, resin and prepping it for all the fiberglass mat. And we're using an ounce and a half fiberglass mat and it comes one meter wide. And uh, there it is. So we've saturated the top of it and the mat is actually on the roof now, as you can see through. And this is how you want to do it. it. It shouldn't be any white in it or air bubbles or anything. It should be uh, anything that's written underneath the sheet should be quite visible. So we're just showing you we're uh, cutting out the opening here and getting ready for the skylight. And uh, we'll uh, get that removed. And there's the skylight that's going in. It's a uh, 22 inch square skylight and what we want to do is put that up onto a curb anything that you're going through roof on a fiberglass roof um, you want to build up onto a curve and that's the real advantage of this we won't be flat flanging to the roof and uh, reliant on uh, silicone to keep out any water or moisture all the water will just pour around it it's built basically the same way as a uh, vessel would be built or a boat and everything I'm showing you in this video too can, can be done on uh, several different projects, even if you want to do a deck in your house. But uh, we're just using uh, two by two cedar. And uh, the only thing about this is uh, you really want to make sure that your product is uh, square. And, um, and you uh, square it all up. I'm only putting one screw in each corner because once it gets fastened to the deck, it doesn't actually need a uh, an awful lot of support. You know, you'll get support from the uh, the deck itself and the fiberglass wrapping up on it. And then once it gets all um, glued and um, has a chance to set, uh, what we'll do is we'll round off the corners and round off the top. You need a radius on the corners and top and that's so the fiberglass can come up and wrap along the top. And uh, if you don't have that, you'll never get a nice fit of fiberglass to the curb. So it's a good thing to do. Actually, it's a necessity. You have to do it. You need a radius edge. Now that the curb is all fastened, to the roof portion we're just mixing up some bondo and you, you can see that i've just put in about a fist portion of bondo and adding the cream hardener to it and we'll just lay that into the corner and this will be a radius uh, so the fiberglass mat can come up off of the uh, roof deck and onto the curb and this just takes some time to learn how to do it to uh, be efficient about it. Uh, auto body guys uh, are really quick at this but uh, just get that light on and a nice radius and then I'll end up cleaning off the edge there. And what I use is a uh, some sandpaper on a dowel on a uh, one inch dowel and I'll just run that in the corners. 
and this just shows the curb going down again. Once the curbs are built, we just put some polyurethane glue around the outside, which is subfloor glue, but uh, polyurethane will stick to the fiberglass really well. So uh, we like to use uh, polyurethane glue, which is subfloor glue. Uh, and if you can see the edge, I'm showing you the edge, how it's rounded over, uh, the corners around it, the top edges around it. And, uh, and, and once that gets fastened down, uh, then we can saturate it, uh, any raw wood. And keep an eye on the weather too. Uh, I just keep looking up and uh, our, uh, we have some storm clouds rolling in, but they weren't calling for rain, but it's uh, always a good idea to uh, check your environment in the day. Now that the Bono is all set, uh, what I like to do because of the dust and stuff in it, I'll wrap everything uh, and give everything a nice wipe down with the acetone and make sure that you have gloves on when you're doing this. But uh, follow all the precautions for all the chemicals that you're using uh, and the, uh, the pers person that you've uh, purchased it off will uh, give you all the safety instructions for all the products. But I'm giving everything a nice clean uh, coat because uh, you want to get that uh, the resin again tacky of uh, where the matting is going on. And I'll be using a four inch uh, uh, piece of mat and I'll hand rip the corners because I want them to blend in. So you, you'll notice uh, that we'll have uh, torn co corners. And what this will do is allow it to flow onto the deck. If I was to use scissors and cut this, you would have a ridge, which wouldn't really be too much of a problem being on top of a roof, but it's a good habit to get into. And then what I'll do is rip the corner back so I can wrap around. So uh, as I showed you in the other parts of the video, uh, you, you actually want to take your chip brush or fiber brush uh, and just uh, push everything in the corner. And here I am just uh, holding it down and uh, tearing it and uh, that'll wrap around the corner good. And uh, just take your pro product and uh, just dab it in. I start with the corners first, get a good saturation, and then I'll go up, up the wall, and then down, down the flat, all the way down. And we'll do this all the way around, and then uh, I only do up to the top of the skylight because what I want to do is on the top curve. I'll do the same thing. I'll wrap from the top down. And uh, so that I'm not trying to do two wraps at once. Uh, it was the same process if you're falling along as uh, we did on the uh, drip flash on the, on the trailer. That's on both sides. It's a lot easier to work with uh, smaller pieces and smaller runs than trying to do it all at once. ready for the gel coat. So we blew all the deck off and swept it and uh, and uh, if there's any areas that needed a uh, light sand we'd uh, sand it. Uh, you may think that that blue by my hand there is, is above the deck but it's not. It was some uh, holes that were filled with the uh, bondo underneath and it's quite flat. So the first thing we do is coat the, uh, the edge of the openings, the skylight openings, or any of the well openings, and then, and then we'll move to the front and move move back. Uh, what I have done too is I've uh, thinned the gel coat by 20%, and uh, I actually uh, 
have another video that shows you all the applications of all the products that we use and uh, what we we use as thinners and add additives. And, but um, you want this to flow, and uh, and you want to be very accurate on your catalyst when you're putting your gel coat on. You don't want it to go hard on you too quickly. Uh, if anything, you go on the lesser side than the higher side because um, you do want the flow. And this will end up having two coats. Uh, so we're just going to give this one a coat and then we'll check it all over to make sure that uh, if it needs any more uh, refinement, it will be done before the final coat. And then I'll come up from the inside. That's why if you see the top of the curve, it isn't done, but I'll come in from the inside and uh, coat the um, top of the curve around. Notice when I'm painting this on, I like to go two directions and then uh, I'll go uh, one direction and then 90 degrees from that direction and then I'll back back roll and you always want to back roll it on but uh, we'll go on both ways and uh, get the product on and then go back and give it a, a nice back roll and, uh, and if you see any risers or anything you want to uh, take those out at the same time. It's not too bad when you're doing a, uh, a rooftop like this, nobody will see. But if you're doing a boat deck or, or home deck or, uh, or a sidewall where somebody's seen the product, you're going to want to take a little bit of time rolling it on. There's the first coat. You see it all flows on nice, nice and bright. And you can see the curves. It's on the curve for the vent and there's the drip cap. So all the water will cascade over the top. Uh, there's, there's no portion of this deck is reliant on caulking to keep the water out of it. It's all sealed and encapsulated with fiberglass uh, and strong. Uh, walking across the top of this or trying to move the trailer, you wouldn't believe the strength in it uh, because of the two parallel runs down each side. And so this will, this roof will outlast the trailer. So there's the first coat and then we'll proceed and get the second coat on. And there's the second coat and we have the skylights and skull installed and the uh, the vent on the back and uh, as you see it comes out quite nice and all, all the little pinholes if there was any they're all filled and uh, that's a wax coat so uh, whenever it rains the water will bubble right up on it well, I'd like to thank my sponsor again the independent marine supply store for supporting this project and I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe and pass it on to your friends and I hope this has helped you on your project and uh, I enjoy doing them so uh, thanks a lot again and have a great day.